uh, I think, here we go. The unfaithful, the faithful or the unfaithful servant. This is Matthew 24, verse 45. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has put in charge of his household to give the other servants their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is the servant whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed, and he begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour that he does not know. He will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites, where there he will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow, well, so this is a, pre, a prelude to what we're about to talk about, as you can tell from the title. Such is the kingdom of heaven. Such is the kingdom of heaven, and we are not separate from the kingdom of heaven. And the primary issue that we want to bring up is the um, most precious jewel, is based on the most precious jewel that we have. It's harmonious union. It's harmonious twin flame union. It's what I've bled for my entire life to bring to you. And when I see people stealing or thieving my most precious jewel, I'm not too happy about that. And I don't take that lightly at all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there has been some maybe confusion about uh, harmonious union and how to attain it, about marriage and the church and all of this. So let's be really clear about all this. And I'm probably going to name some names. Maybe I don't need to, but... Well, yeah, it doesn't matter, but... Let's, let's lay out the appropriate order of things. You come to our community for a purpose. And that purpose is because you desire harmonious union. That has not gone away. In recent times, in times not, you know, past year or so, we have significantly raised the bar for harmonious union. It used to be that once you touched the vibration of it, we would pronounce you in it. And uh, we did that in Toronto Talks. We have been doing that all along. And this was great to help people recognize that's the vibration, that's you've attained the vibration, it. That's vibration, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, it was really helpful to establish the reality of harmonious union. Mm -hmm. This was baby steps into uh, a permanent solution. Right, because if we established the permanent solution from the get-go... You would never have gotten it. No one no would have gotten would. it, and, and people would have felt so disheartened, like, oh, too I far can't away. ever make that. Why, I'm not even going to try. And so uh, the most compassionate thing was the way that we initially did it, which was in baby steps. And we paid a lot of the price for And we for paid you. a lot of the price for that. And it was also um, part of that price we paid was a lesson for the community that you really don't want people attaining HTFU and then like falling out. Um, it feels bad uh, to everyone and it hurts. And that's not what we want to promote. Uh, we don't want to promote separation in any form or any way. And so, as you can see, like our standards slowly raised at the level and comfort of the community and what you all were ready for. So we don't want to see harmonious unions coming together. We all celebrate. Everyone feels wonderful. And then we experience the drama and the travesty and the pain of seeing that a couple fall out. Because we all feel union. it. Mm -hmm. well, and because we all supported it. And, and we so all supported it, yeah. we, uh, we raised the bar to uh, dig deeper beneath the, uh, the game that was being played of, oh, I'll just get harmonious union and I'll get high. And uh, then I'll just, you know, I'll just party on it. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me, now uh, we learned that lesson. We grew beyond that. We've deepened what harmonious union is and means and how to attain it. And uh, it's a much more difficult process to attain, but it's obtainable. It's attainable. You can get there. And uh, many of you are still in the process of, and I know there have been many unions who feel very frustrated because they're not, they have not attained harmonious union, they're working at it, they haven't gotten there, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but the lesson remains firm and the standard remains there. And we're not going to change the standard 
I'm not sure how to get rid of that. But Just whatever. leave it alone. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, the, the standard remains, the lesson remains. And uh, we're not going to change it. And uh, there's been, lately, because the bar has been set high, there's been this game of circumventing uh, the bar for Harmonious Union. Mm. And, please leave it. No, I don't want to. I did uh, that on purpose. Thank you. Oh, okay. Please leave it. Bye. Okay. There has been this game of circumventing uh, the standards so that you can avoid what the church is trying to tell you. And uh, the church is trying to tell you something that is good for your ascension and enlightenment, but it is not good for your game. Mm -hmm. And you might find yourself stuck between a rock and a hard place in uh, this relationship with the church. Because you want one thing, and the church is telling you that's not how you get it. And you see no other way except the really, really impossibly hard thing that the church is telling you to do, which is actually look within, actually do the work. Mm -hmm. And you might find that uh, you would prefer to do it your way. And you're certainly welcome to do it your way, not with the church's support. Uh, this church is held up by the support of Shalia and I. We have bled and poured our love and heart of, and soul into this. Uh, and we have called forth love from our student that you too support this church. Mm -hmm. And so when you come into this community, there's an enormous amount of love and support available to you. As we're transcending into the next level as a community by transforming Twin Flames Universe and the coaches' businesses, we are aligning every aspect of uh, our standard to the appropriate standard, be it our uh, marketing systems, our blog, our, uh, our brand images, our website, the way everything is run to a proper standard. And this includes the teaching itself, uh, Harmonious Union. If you're not here for Harmonious Union, you do not belong here, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. Period. Don't get stuck just in union. I know, you know, there's a lot of people here that are just in union. Um, and I really hope that you're not planning on just staying there in union because that's not the agreement that you have with us and this teaching. It's harmonious twin flame union as an ascension path to God, not union. So you're not going to find us supporting you in allowing shortcuts in your life and spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to find us uh, a, like shortcutting in any way. We're not going to encourage shortcuts in ourselves. We're not going to break any rules for you. You must meet the standard period because that's what maintains the sanctity of the standard. The standard's not there for some egotistical reason. Right. The standard is there because uh, this is what it is. You either have harmonious union or you don't. And uh, I'm sorry that it's hard, but you have to work through the challenges and blocks. And my church at its heart knows that path and knows how to enforce that path. Right. And we're getting better and better and better at uh, enforcing and cultivating and building that vibration. And there's still enough people, well, more than enough people that have HTFU that... Um, emit the vibration at all times to this community and to you so uh you know you you do have the proper support and while sure it might be more challenging to get there than before um it to me it's really just a choice so marriage is a big decision it's a huge decision uh and uh so is engagement and these things, uh, the Church of Union helped you attain. We helped you attain it. Uh, we deserve to be part of that process in your life. Mm -hmm. If you go off on your own in that process, uh, apart from the church, we let you. But we're not going to continue to support and invest in you who would uh, use our teachings and our support to attain union and then uh, get married. Because we're not going to support, because if, if you get married in the church, we're supporting your whole life. Mm -hmm. you're, you're getting married to your twin flame and you're getting married to the church just the same. And if you are not uh, getting married together with your 
Twin Flame and Harmonious Union and the support of the church, we have no business together because you've used the church. You used us. And mm -hmm. uh, we're not okay with being used. Mm -hmm. If you want to try to use us and that's your, that's your game, well, bye. Bye. We'll, we'll very happily say goodbye. Mm. We'll very happily let you go. Uh, because we are not going to support uh, being taken advantage of. And you take advantage of us when you use our support and resources to get high enough mm -hmm. to uh, have a relationship. Let me give you a specific but inspecific example uh, without specifically saying any names, but I'm sure you can figure it out if you're in the know. Say your twin flame is a man and you are a feminine and uh, you have been working with this community for some time to heal your relationship with your twin flame. But instead of doing the work, you're merely just withdrawing energy from the community, putting it into yourself and your uh, relationship, and your man is getting fed very happily, finally. And because your man is being fed happily, he's happy and he's submissive and he'll do more of what you want. But you have not actually uh, invited him into the community. Let me give you a specific example of uh, Dan and Deanna who uh, came to a spiritual boot camp in my house. Dan was not, he was kind of on the fringes of the community. He was kind of on the fringes. He was around. He was around. Deanna was at the heart of the community. And they came to my house and Dan had his doubts and Deanna was supposed to be very firm in, and she was in the teaching. But uh, little by little, Dan kept making deals with Deanna where he would give uh, more of himself to erode relationship with the church and mm. with us. And Deanna took the deal every time. Oh, she yeah. got suckered into it, no matter how, what we could do. Because she loved control. She wanted to control Dan, mm. and she denied the way she got to be with her twin flame. Even though it was senior. very evident that we were the ones that said, hey, you're twin flames. We did, we took, we, <laughs> we literally them did all the work, almost all of the work to bring them together, and uh, they left us. Mm -hmm. And uh, they lose the support. And you gain nothing by doing this. You mm -hmm. might think that you're, it's, it's like money, right? Like you're gonna come to the community and you're getting paid a bunch of money. And you might think that you can stock that money away and maybe you get away with stocking a lot of that money away. But eventually when you lose your source of income, you lose the money and mm -hmm. no longer do you have the money. So it might feel good to have that high of being financed uh, by the church, spiritually, vibrationally, uh, emotionally, but uh, if you're not honoring the relationship with the church, the church is not going to keep paying you. You are not entitled in any way. No, because you're considered a bad investment because you are not aligning yourself to our mission and our core value of attaining harmonious twin flame union, getting married in the church, and shining that vibrational light into the world. Mm -hmm. And just because these uh, things are not always explicitly stated and reinforced regularly, I return back to that quote in the Bible, or that little verse in the Bible, where just because I'm out in the marketplace doing stuff and uh, you're taking care of the household and I'm not telling you you can't do that, you can't you know, spill juice on my carpet, uh, and just because you spilled juice on my carpet and no one said anything because no one was around to see it, doesn't mean I like my carpets having juice on them. Uh, and it doesn't mean that uh, you are going to get away with it when I return. Because I'm going to return at an hour at a time you do not expect. So uh, it's best that you uh, take care of things when I'm not around. Because when I return, I'll put you in charge of things. Right? And if you are not taking care of things when I'm not around, when I return, you're going to be disciplined. Warren Buffett says You're when the get caught. yeah mm -hmm. when Warren Buffett says uh, when the tide rolls out, we're gonna find out who's been swimming naked, and 